Hello everybody, this is the Complexity Geek. With all this talk about complexity, I thought it was time to put up a video that actually explained what complexity and complexity complex systems are. Um, the science of complexity uh, were originally started probably around the 1940s. The first roots came from the uh, start of systems science. From this groundwork, the fields of general systems theory and cybernetics emerged as separate sciences. Through the merger of these two fields, another was developed. Um, this is the field of artificial intelligence, which uses computers to attempt to simulate the human mind. It can be said that system science is the theoretical framework for complexity science, while artificial intelligence gives us a method for studying it. It wasn't until the period around 1975 to 1985 that uh, work on artificial intelligence realized its full implementation through the development of computers capable of performing the complex calculations necessary to support the computational mathematics that lie at the heart of the artificial intelligence puzzle. Once these new tools were available to researchers, the development of techniques such as cellular automa, uh, fuzzy logic, genetic algorithms, neural networking, computational sociology, and multi-agent modeling swiftly followed. Another important advance came with the development of dynamical systems theory. This is actually a field of mathematics, not a study of chaos as is commonly thought. Uh, through the development and, inter and interaction of these fields of study, as well as work in the fields of chaos theory and fractal geometry, the uh, field of complexity science has emerged as a field of its own. Uh, a big part of complexity is looking at things as complex systems. Every complex system has its own form and inherent characteristics, but in order to be considered a true complex system, it must display these following characteristics. It must be emergent, self-organizing, complex, dynamic, evolving, it must be agent-based, and it must operate in a position far from equilibrium. A true complex system is more than the sum of its parts. This is due to the interactions between the agents that make up the system. Once these interactions have caused a complex system to emerge, you cannot reduce the system to something less than it is without it becoming a different system or ceasing to be a complex system altogether. A complex system is considered to be complex because the agents that work together to make up the system are themselves complex systems. The interrelationships between the members of this web of subsystems gives the overlying complex system the ability to react when faced with a threat or other conditions or variables that differ from the norm. The system reacts to these outside stimuli as well as feedback inputs that are generated internally. Because of this, complex systems are dynamic in nature. They will never reach a point of equilibrium. If equilibrium is reached, the system will become static and will eventually stagnate and die. Complex systems do not seek a state of equilibrium. Instead, they seek a state of self-organized criticality at a point far from equilibrium. This steady state of operation is distributed across the system as a whole, and it allows the system to adapt to the changes or perturbations that are introduced into the system. I hope this uh, gave everybody some information to know exactly what a complex system is and what complexity science uh, rose from. Uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments section below. And as always, have a great day.